get your match. I'm my name aboard. I like you. This is Sasha Baron Cohen, otherwise known as Borat, Ali G, and Bruno, three of many characters posing as TV hosts that have fooled and often annoyed a myriad of unsuspecting victims over the years. In addition to branching out into major film and TV roles for other creators, like Aaron Sorkin in The Trial of the Chicago 7, I've never been on trial for my thoughts before. Sasha continues to revisit his own characters, especially in the sequel to his 2006 comedy Borat, Borat Subsequent Movie Film. I go to America! Believe it or not, Sasha actually got his start as a genuine television host, cutting his teeth as a presenter on local cable access shows in Britain like Pump TV and F2F. It was right around this time when Sasha began experimenting with character work, like when he joined Comedy Nation in 1998 interviewing people as an early version of Borat named Christo from Albania. In Albania we hear she is dead. She is dead? We are sorry. It wasn't until Sasha joined the satirical news program The 11 O'Clock Show when he got some major attention conducting interviews as Ali G, a street-talking gangster wannabe uh, moron would be the best way to put it. When can you murder someone? <laughs> Ali G eventually spun off into his own six-time Emmy-nominated series, The Ali G Show. Has you ever cried during watching a movie? Of course. I'm a pushover. I cry. You was crying? <laughs> What are you laughing at? This, of course, gave Sasha plenty of freedom to develop two other characters. As gay German TV host Bruno, he poked fun at the fashion industry. Fashion saves a lot more lives than doctors. I think so. And as Borat, he annoyed plenty of citizens as he tried to learn everything he could about America. I like you. Do you like me? I'm not sure. It seemed inevitable that these characters would get their own movie deals. In 2002, during the run of The Ali G Show, Sasha co-wrote and starred in Ali G in the House, a narrative film in which Ali G unwittingly becomes involved in a plot to overthrow the Prime Minister of Great Britain. Then in 2006, Sasha returned to the tried and true format of interviewing real people when he brought Borat to the big screen, journeying across America, leaving people confused, irritated, and angry in his wake. Absolutely not, and neither can you. The same can be said when it was Bruno's turn to be fabulous and wreak havoc on the country. It's no surprise that Sasha's knack for creating characters would make him a good actor for other filmmakers, often playing unsavory people. He played Ricky Bobby's arch nemesis in Talladega Nights' The Ballad of Ricky Bobby, a ruthless station inspector in Martin Scorsese's Hugo, and he showed off his singing ability in Sweeney Todd and as the iconic Monsieur Tenardier in Les Miserables. In the past decade, Sasha has maintained this same high-wire balance in his career. He still creates his own characters, whether they're featured in narrative films like The Dictator or The Brothers Grimsby, or something more in line with his earlier work like Who is America? He also did some excellent dramatic work as Eli Cohen, a man who begins to lose himself in his identity as an Israeli spy in the Netflix miniseries The Spy. I love this country with all my might. Sasha Baron Cohen is no stranger to losing himself in a role. His complete immersion into his characters, however ridiculous, is something that audiences love. As for his interview subjects, at their absolute best, This suit is black. They will continue to nod and respond politely. Um, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not